Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. Y'all know what time it is. Or <laughs> segment we get to. Whatever. We're getting to the sad Sorry. segment. All right. And today I'm about to talk about this movie, The Iron Claw. Saw this on Apple TV. This is about the uh, the uh, the family, the Von Erich brothers, who are in wrestling. This was before my time of when I watched wrestling. This was in the eighties. You know, I was I was wrestling and I was in the nineties. This is the early eighties. I wasn't born yet, so I didn't know about them. But this this movie, based on them, was actually really good. I thought this was I thought this was pretty good. You know what I mean? Sport thriller came out in twenty twenty three. You feel me? Um, it I I thought it was a phenomenal story. Pretty sad though. It's a pretty sad story in my eyes. You feel me? But um, before we get into the plot, let me get the cast, let me get the stats, and we get into the plot. Well, first let me give you the stats, and also what I'm gonna start doing too. I'm gonna give a a screenshot. I'm not gonna really tell you who like director is and stuff like that. But I'm going to give like a screenshot so y'all can see it. So here goes a screenshot of that. So you know who the director, box office, all that good jazz cinematography. Bam. Booyah. Now, let me give you the stats. Okay. IMDb, IMDb gave it a 7.7. Rotten Tomatoes gave it an 89%. And the people gave it a 92%. I highly agree with y'all. Okay. Now, with that being said, let me give you the cast. They had an amazing cast. Cast was phenomenal. They had Zach Efron. He was Kevin Vaughn. Jeremy Allen White. He was Carrie Vaughn. All right. They had Lily James. So he played Pam, which ended up being the wife of Kevin. You had Maxwell Jacob. He's Lance Vaughn. Maxwell Jacob is actually a wrestler. Okay. They had Harris Dickinson. He's David Vaughn. They had Hawk McCallany. He was Fritz Vaughn. He's the dad. Everybody else I mentioned are all the brothers. Okay? They also had um, Stanley Simmons. He played Mike Vaughn. They had Maury Turney. She played Doris Vaughn, which was the wife of Fritz Vaughn. You feel me? Who the hell? She gonna have, you know, have to wait and prove to Netflix. You got to wait. I'm busy. All right. Um, who else? Who else? Before that kind of distracted me. All right. They had other people that were the cast. They did an amazing job. Incredible. You feel me? Now let me give you the the plot. It's gonna be a very short plot. Basically, it is about the life of the Vaughn brothers in the Vaughn family. You feel me? Of how. Essentially, they had, they, I think they had their own wrestling kind of thing going on. You feel me? And the whole time, the dad was trying to win the WWE belt, and he never could. They never allowed him. They never allowed this man to win the belt. So he was like, if I ain't going to win it, my sons is going to win it down the line. In a sense, he put his sons through hell. And also, he... he he was so singularly uh, driven with his vision that he didn't understand or see that he was being very detrimental to his kids, to his sons, especially the oldest. Well, he was the second oldest because by the time he was five, his older brother, his other older brother, ended up passing away. So, oh, Lord. Jesus Christ! I I do it I do it later. I'm shooting my show right now. Oh, okay, bye. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. So, passed away. So that's one of the brothers passed away. You feel me? And I'm gonna basically kind of jump to the end. the The second older brother, played by Zac Efron, Kevin, he ended up losing all his brothers. Real talk. It was freaking sad. All his brothers, man. They were a tight-knit family. All of them passed. One passed, his intestine busted, basically. And he was so close to winning that WWE title. 
And his dad was so driven, like, you about to do this. That he was like, man, I'm good. We ain't got to worry about my stomach. Testing exploded. Died in the hotel in Japan. Before the match. Other brother, played by Jeremy. Carrie. He was going to go to the Olympics do the little toss and diss thing. And the Olympics got canceled. So he came back home and started wrestling. First thing happened to him on his motorcycle had a freak accident. Leg. Cracking! Cut off. Over with. Dunzo. And later on down the line, passed away. Other brother, David. And this be my thing. Parents, if you see your kid is very passionate about something and really, really good at it, because da- David Vaughn was really good with music. Really good with music. Could have probably been a, a, a phenomenal musician. But instead, dad wanted him to be in wrestling. You feel me? Did that. Never pursued his music career. Ended up passing away. Very sad. Very sad. Yeah. Like I said, this is more of a tragic story. And I think one of the most tragic things. And I ain't gonna lie, I almost shed a tear at this moment. Because Kevin and his, his wife, they had two kids, two boys. And this was at the very end when all his brothers passed and stuff. And you know what I mean? Bruh. Bruh didn't even, did he end up winning the WWE? I think he ne- he never did it. I think he never did. I don't think it, he ever won it. But the thing that was that was very, that it had me, almost shed a tear. His little boys, they were like, you know, five or six or whatever, and ran up to his daddy. Why? Because they were playing like football. And him and his brothers used to play football all the time. You feel me? They were playing playing football all the time, and they, they're tight knit. I'm telling you, the brothers are tight knit. His little boy saw him crying. He just shedding tears, cause he's just thinking about his brothers and reminiscing, thinking like, "Damn, we could this could have been so different." You know what I mean? And his 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 sons came up to him was like, "Daddy, why are you crying, yo?" He was like, "Don't." It, it, don't don't worry about it. It's, uh, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking about my brothers. I wish they was here. And the sons. I'm telling you, little kids be knowing, bro. I'm telling you, man. Sometimes they could be a terror, but sometimes they could be such a joy. And his sons told him, "It's okay, Daddy. We'll be your brothers." Damn. Damn. Ah. Oh. Pulling on the heartstrings. Ah. Oh. Man, now's the end of the movie. Incredible. Feel me? I like the storyline. I like the, the the wrestling because you know I, I was in I was back in wrestling back in the day and stuff like that. Um, wrestling starting to come back around too. It's starting to make a comeback. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, it was real good. Good drama. Good storyline based on a true story. And not only only that. You feel me? Um, I think I think. One of the things that was very uh, captivating to me was um, that it showed these, this family really fought each other, but they still stick together at the end of the day. Even the dad, even the dad, even the dad was kind of a bastard. You feel me? But at the end of the day, he still stuck with his fam. That was that was kind of that was kind of remarkable. You feel what I'm saying? Only gripe I have of this movie. <sighs> this right here. Y'all see it? That ain't Ric Flair, that's Ric Blair. What? what? What the hell? What? Come on now. Y'all messed up on the woo guy. What? This is not Ric Flair. Oh my god. That's my only gripe. They messed up on the Ric Flair characters. Jesus Christ. I think he didn't even say, woo. He said, woo. What? <laughs> but other than that, this movie was incredible.
look, like I said, I saw this movie on Apple TV. Um, I ain't deterring you. I ain't encouraging you to watch this movie. If you want to watch it, go ahead. Do your thing. Once again, this was the Iron Claw. Really great movie. Mess with it.